When you turn on your faucet, you expect good quality water to flow from it. Where is this water coming from and how does it get into our private wells? The water in a private well is called groundwater. And groundwater is the water that's underneath the ground. It fills the spaces between the soil and the fractures in the bedrock. Groundwater is part of the movement of water through a watershed. And very simply, a watershed is the land area that contributes water to a particular water body, whether that water body be a wetland, a lake, a pond, a river, Narragansett Bay, or even the Atlantic Ocean. And the hills and the valleys and the landscape define the watershed boundary. So you can have a watershed area that's very small that maybe contributes water to the wetland in your backyard, say, or say the Narragansett Bay watershed, which takes up half of the land area of Rhode Island and extends up into neighboring Massachusetts. As water falls to the earth, it's going to move over the landscape in this watershed area. The water can run off into surface waters, or it can seep down through the soil profile, recharging the groundwater system. And we put our wells down into the groundwater so that we can pump water to our homes for our use. Groundwater is stored in what is called an aquifer. An aquifer is a geologic formation that stores and provides water to a well. In Rhode Island, there are two main kinds of aquifers that we use for drinking water supplies. The first is a sand and gravel aquifer. These areas are deposits of well-sorted layers of sands and gravels. Sand and gravel aquifers tend to be very productive water supply areas. The second kind of aquifer is known as a bedrock aquifer. Here, the fractures in the bedrock can store and transmit water to a drinking water well. The productivity of a bedrock aquifer depends upon the size and the interconnectedness of the cracks in the bedrock. A well is placed into the aquifer to supply water to our homes.